What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today, we're playing a casual round on the west side of Tyler. Let's get to it. Hey guys, before we get to the video, I have a giveaway to take care of. So, at the end of my last video, my round at Sedgley Woods, I promised to give away a Total Eclipse Envy. All you had to do to be eligible for the giveaway was comment and tell me what was the only hole I bogeyed during the round. It was hole 7, so we have 16 entries over here on YouTube, and we got 2 on Rumble. So I have you guys here, 18 total. Let's give it some shuffles and a spin to see who's winning. Just crawling across the line. We have Exhale with the win. Congratulations. All I need from you is a screenshot of you being logged into your YouTube account, uh, preferably showing that you are a subscriber to the channel, and you're going to send that screenshot to one of my players pages, which you can find here, or you can email me directly at shaystevens77522 at gmail.com. Once I verify that you are you, I'll get your information. I'll get that disc sent out to you. Uh, so thanks to everyone for, for uh, participating. If you didn't win, it's okay. Remember, uh, I have a Team Foundation Challenge out right now. It goes till the end of the month, so there's still a few days left to do, uh, to, or to get it done. All you have to do is bring a bag with you to the course and pick up some trash. And you got to take a picture of yourself on hole one with it and a picture at the end showing how much trash you picked up. Uh, and you guys submit that on the Foundation Discord channel. I'll have the video linked so you can see all the details. But yeah, still a few days to get that done. That's for a giveaway for another disc and a $20 off coupon code to the Foundation website. So please uh, check that out if you haven't already done so. Now, back to the video. So we're out here on a Friday afternoon. Tyler, the weather is beautiful. Uh, a couple of housekeeping items first. Thanks to everyone who uh, reached out about my dad. Really appreciate it. Uh, as of today, he just got his catheter out. He's up and moving a lot more. Like, could not ask for more. It's been going really well. So, thanks for all the thoughts and prayers on that one. Uh, he's doing great. Uh, second, yeah, uh, it's Friday afternoon. I got out of work early, and this weather is just too nice. So, I had to come on out here. It's like like 70 degrees, a little bit of breeze, overcast, which is great for Irish people. And uh, last thing is... Actually, tomorrow is A-Holes uh, at Tyler Park. I'm not playing, but I am caddying for my nephew. Uh, it's his first tournament, so I'm hoping to get him through it alive. And I want to come out and play the west side because I have kind of a battle plan shaped out for the east side for him. West, I want to go through again to figure out, you know, what's a respectable score for him. So we're playing the layout today. Uh, you know, there's a few holes where they have temp tees. I'm not quite sure where they are, but I'll play the hole just normally. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to formulate a battle plan. So hole one, or actually hole 19, uh, is in the A-pin. It's only 205, and I like to throw a big hyzer, but this right side has really grown up uh, in the few months I've been, you know, I've been away from Tyler. So that's kind of offline. Wow, that is really ballooning up nicely, which is good. We want that forest to grow up. Uh, so instead of a hyzer, I'm gonna go with a more of a straight shot with my anode, kind of aiming towards that big tree just back into the left of the basket, and then hopefully drifting this over just a little bit. Oh, that was a first car throw. And he skipped. All right, first one out of the car. Lucky skip, though. All right, so I forgot to give a uh, update on the back as well. Uh, back is doing all right. I've really been taking it easy, not throwing much. Uh, if I do go out to play like foam or I'll do mids and putters. But yeah, I'm taking it easy. It was actually pretty tight this week. I actually uh, went and got an appointment with my massage therapist and she beat the heck out of me. My back is really sore right now, but I can move it, which is nice. So, uh, thought we'd come out and play Tyler just because it's all on the A pins and we'll play the short T pads. So, won't be too strenuous. I got the cart with me too. So, uh, yeah, should be a fun round. And got some lucky action off the side of the hill. But we'll take it. Okay. All right, hole 20. We are, it's like a 140 foot downhill shot, real nice and simple. I've actually been doing a, a cheeky little flex forehand line at this. My back's feeling like, all right, so I didn't pull it off again. This isn't really a power shot, it's more a touch. So just trying to aim this out to the right, hopefully flex left and come back in. Ooh, didn't turn it over enough, but 
I'm basket high. Don't keep the camp out. Like 25 footish. Should be just like putting in my garage. Whew. Whew. Held it on the edge. Who said Mach 5s can't catch? And hold 21. 185 feet. I used to have this one dialed and I lost it. Pad's a little, pad's a little slick. Oh, just nice and easy anode. Oh, that flipped. That is so long. <laughs> It is so hard to distance check this hole. You gotta really have your nose up touch on. And don't know if I have enough comfortability to throw a standstill at this. <sighs> I would love to flap with this, but there is some ceiling issues. So we are going stepper. <clears throat> Good run. Hole 22, 331 feet. I'm pretty sure this is one of the holes that Brian actually uh, puts a temp tee out there, usually between those two trees. But not sure if he's uh, you know, going to mix things up, go to the rough. So we're just playing it as is. So <sighs> smooth than a driver. Let's see what we can do. I'm feeling the orange boy. Just nice, easy, controlled. Give it a lot of hyzer so it doesn't flip because I'd rather be left than right on this. Yep. Yep. Too much hyzer than needed, but it was a safe play. Alright, let's take a look at our plays here. So, I am really happy, guys. The the trees here are exploding and we need that to happen because we lost a thousand trees back in 2018. So we need them to get replaced and all this young forest coming up is uh, really good. All right, so I think we're gonna go the backhand turnover. Sorry if the angle's kind of janky, guys. All right, should be able to get up and down with that. A little tappy tap. Driver putts. Okay, hold 23. 208 foot just right down the hill. Honestly, one of my favorite shots on the west side. Just, it's such a good, you know, technical shot. You, you're throwing down, so you gotta match the slope of the hill, find your line. And now in summer, you know, spring, just all this corridor growing up makes it a real challenging shot. So I'm gonna go with my flippy envy. Just gonna take it. Down the left side, hopefully turn it over a little bit, drift towards the basket. Hit something. All right, it hit something. I think I might have a putt. Okay. Let's play how obstructed is my luck. And of course, my just nestled on this, you know, decaying log. Luckily it's thin though, so I can be behind it and be in the stance. Oop. All right, ooh, we gotta look, kids, we gotta look. So, whew. nice and comfortable. Hey! I'll steal one. And right, so based on event history, we usually play from the old short tee pad, which is this guy right here. So it's, it's like a 200, maybe two, 210 foot shot but you're going uphill. And the play I think is to play out to the right, hang it just inside of that tree, which is really getting fluffy now. So that's gonna really tighten the line up. I just like to smooth the reactor up there. Try to keep it flat so it just hits nice and sit. Uh, you do sometimes have to worry about skip aways to the left, but the grass is pretty thick, so shouldn't be a concern. I like that a lot. 
Should be good. All right, so grass length is definitely something you need to take into account when you're a caddy to help your uh, your player make good decisions. Usually this would have trickled a little more towards the basket, but it got held up up here. Uh, I think Bob Schellenberg is here actually to mow, which will, if they can mow this down, it'll be nice. We've gotten a lot of rain over the past couple uh, days, so it's really hard for the uh, volunteers to keep up all these sunny spots now that we're missing trees. All right, let's tap this in. Whew, just over the rim. Alrighty. On to hole 25, the island. This one beat my nephew up the last time we played it. However, I didn't tell him for the A-holes, they usually don't play out of bounds, so he'll get a sigh of relief. I wanted him to play a harder config than what he was going to be facing in the tournament, just so he'd get ready for it. Uh, so this is just a nice short one here. Best it straight ahead. About 260 feet. So I just take an envy, straight at it. Push, push. Ooh, just short. Oh man, just, just a little more oomph. But heli drop-ins. Yeah, so for those uh, still curious about it, uh, I am still down tempoing uh, just to you know take it easy on my back. You saw there, I usually do a standstill throw at the envy on that hole. There, I did a little bit of a walk up, just smoothed it, and it's really paying off, guys. Uh, it just feels so good to feel your body connect, like all the you know hit points just fire at the right time. And it's something I hope I can carry up as I you know put a little more speed, a little more power into it. So, yeah, it's definitely easier golf, and I'm enjoying it. But yeah, by the way, you've heard me mention before, like, I mean, we lost trees at Tyler. Yeah, here's a, a lot of remnants that's from 2018. We still have piles and piles of this stuff here. It's a you know, you've some more over here. Yeah, it was really bad. We're uh, over a thousand trees thanks to the Emerald Ash Borer. So I know the pain they're feeling down at uh, W.R. Jackson. Okay, hole 26 is going to be a bit of a tester for me because I, again, I'm trying to be easy with the forehands. So I'm curious. I've been usually I've been throwing a pyro, but I wonder. If I go Terra standstill and just smooth it out here on the left, will it give me the same result without having to, you know, pump a disc? So just nice and smooth. A little more inside than I would have liked. Oh, and a great roll too. So I missed my line by a few feet to the inside, but it worked out. You guys got the gallery view from the road to the path. Uh, birdies are hard to come by, but they can easily turn to bogeys with the slope on this hill, so Gotta give us a nice committed bid Dead in the heart of the middle of the chains. Let's go Yep, uh, that's a good one Crap, I'm starting to think I should have played this tournament All right time to see did I just jinx myself by bringing up how well I'm shooting so Hole 27. It's like a what 160 foot shot, maybe. Bird on the basket currently. Let's see how I can scare him. Just going nice, easy with the flippy envy. Ah, bird flew away. All right. I rounded that. That's going to be interesting. And that, guys, was a non committed shot that got rewarded and shouldn't have. Kind of rode the hill into the circle here so yeah i was torn i was like thinking in my head it's 170 feet don't throw it but you know 20 feet of elevation change so you got to throw it and i was in between shots and just pulled it over here to the right but got lucky let's take advantage of it all right guys i'm used to going off on 20 so i forgot you know playing 19 made that the ninth hole so we have wrapped up the front nine uh, dang, minus seven on the front. Um, happy? Uh, you know, casual round, no pressure. So I guess that's the, you know, the, the perk. I don't know if I'd be able to put that here in a tournament, but that would be amazing if I could. Uh, but yeah, that's been the front nine. Back to Shay. 
All right, guys, you can probably tell I'm having a great time out there, Tyler. Playing a casual round, putting up a hot score. I really wish there was a way I could, like, capture that mental state of my filmed rounds and bring it over to my tournament rounds. Just, whenever I'm in front of a camera, I just feel so stress-free. I know if I throw a great shot, I have a great shot on camera, and we're all going to enjoy a pretty display together. If I throw a crappy shot, we're all going to laugh at my suffering. So, no matter what, it's a win. Uh, so, if I can find some way to bring that, like, stress-free just aspect over to my tournament play might do a little better so something for me to work on uh let's see if i can keep it going to the back nine now uh you know i just you know told myself i'm on a heater uh going into the back let's see if i can you know not crumble uh i'll have that put together for you guys as soon as possible however i am expecting a delivery from mvp uh some much anticipated testers so as soon as i get them i'm gonna be putting in the reviews so those might kind of split uh this front nine and back nine up but it i will get that back nine up eventually so uh keep an eye out for it but uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you for all your support. If you have any questions for me, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.